If you're brand new to recording and capturing sounds with MIDI in Ableton Live, I wanna share one of my favorite tips and tricks that instantly will help improve your recordings and make sure they're in time and sound great. Okay, so this is one of my favorite tips and tricks. I, I am not a great piano player. I'm a guitar player by trade. I can plug in my guitar, I can play in time perfectly with click, but when it comes to piano, capturing piano parts in particular, keys parts in Ableton Live, I need a little bit of help. So what I've got pulled up here in an Ableton Live session is Creator's Piano, which is my favorite piano preset for Ableton Live. And I wanna record a really kind of moody piano part, um, but I wanna play with the click. I want everything to sound great. I'm gonna record for a second and mute my mic, and I just want you to listen to that. Then I wanna talk about how I can record, uh, improve the recording of that and improve the performance of that without really having to do anything on my part. Okay, so here we go. Let's try it out and see what happens. Okay, so really long reverb tail on that song. Maybe we don't need that much reverb, but let's listen back to that with the click on. And I just wanna to listen to those parts that are really syncopated that should be perfectly in time and see what we got on that. Honestly, it, frankly, it's not awful. For a guy who's not great at playing piano uh, and playing in time, it's not terrible. But let me show you my favorite tip and trick uh, for really improving the timing of your MIDI recordings. And this doesn't work for everything, context is everything, but for me, this tends to work really, really well. So what you wanna do is go up to the edit menu here. You can go down to record quantization and I typically leave this set to 16th note quantization. So it's gonna quantize my 16th notes to keep them perfectly on the grid. Again, you can see I play pretty well and pretty close to being on the grid for this, but I really wanna sync those, those downbeats really well. I wanna lock everything in. So let's do 16th note quantization. Um, let's try recording again. I won't record as long this time. I'll leave my mic, uh, well, I'll mute my mic as well too. And let's try it again and see if we can get it a little more in time and a little cleaner this time. Okay, so now let's actually look at the, the grid for this one and compare it to our previous one. So if we zoom in here, we can see, okay, our notes are really locked on the grid on this one. I mean, almost perfectly. And again, context is everything. Sometimes the context calls for things to shift and sway a little bit. I even tried to lay back on this one as I was recording and even sometimes intentionally play wrong notes just so it would, uh, would correct it. Let's listen back now, now that we've recorded, again, I'll mute my mic again so you can hear just this audio and listen back to it. I'll, I'll leave the click on so you can hear how it's in time uh, and listen to how it quantized that in real time as it's coming into Ableton Live to lock it to the grid. Let's take a listen. So you could hear in particular, those times where I tried to really lay back and, and almost play intentionally sloppy, Ableton corrected those for me. And again, context is everything. The context of the music you're playing, you may want things. In fact, the best music I think is a little ahead, a little behind the beat. So use this sparingly, but this is a tip that will help improve your MIDI performances. 
in general, most of the time. Disable this when you don't need it, but this really helps me to lock things into the grid and create the best performances and stay focused and in the moment. Now, if you like content like this, I post a brand new tutorial every single day at 10 a.m. Central, so make sure to hit the subscribe button, enable the bell icon so you don't miss out. It's completely free, and you'll learn how to perform like a pro with Ableton Live. Thanks so much for watching and listening. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.